Thank you, Brandon Hinkle. Love ya. Love you, everyone. Welcome to High Rollers. Well, hope you, hopefully you were watching last week, because last week in the big, in the, uh, not big numbers round, the main game, in the round two, Seppi won over $20,000 in goodies. And in the red position, Seppi has $43,338 cash and prizes. Seppi, way to go. Welcome back. Thank you, Nancy. You are welcome. Amazing, I... If you win this game, you will tie the record for the longest win streak with John Bergman of three wins. Do you think you'll be able to do that? Well, we will find out. I know that Adam's a really good opponent here. Yes, he is. Well, speaking of Adam Oliver, welcome, Adam. You're in the blue position. Welcome back. Well, we're glad to have you back. Now, what has changed since your last appearance? Well, another way, another way to change, and I, and I am a, and I am a champion in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a different studio with the same host. Oh, really? Okay, well, Adam, I wish you the best of luck. All right, players, here's how you play. Now, you answer, you buzz in by answering questions if you think you know it. If you're right, you get control of the dice. If you're wrong, your opponent gets control of the dice. Now, say, for example, if you roll a 5, you can get rid of either, either the 5 by itself alone, or you can get rid of a combination of a 5 like 1 and 4 or 2 and 3. Now, if you roll a bad number, your opponent will win the round. It takes two rounds out of three to win the game, and that person goes on to big numbers to play for $25,000. If anyone does roll a double, you get an assurance marker. That will definitely help things out. Are you two ready? Hey, ready. All right, let's get started. Uh, for column number one, we're going to add a hammock. That's right, from Original Polly's Island Hammock, it's a Southern Cypress Duracoat Hammock with Pillow, courtesy of Original Polly's Island Hammock. That hammock is worth $1,248, that makes column number one worth $4,026. Alright, for column number two, we're going to start fresh with a fitness package. From Flybird Fitness, it's a bench with a weightlifting bar, six plates, and a power tower, courtesy of Flybird Fitness. That fitness package is worth $1,844. And if any of you two need stuff for the kitchen, we're going to add a fridge to column number three. It is a stainless steel French door fridge with touchscreen. That is worth $2,699. Alright, players, I wish you the best of luck. Hands on your buzzers. Do the best, have fun. And here is your first question of the game. When was Earth Day first celebrated? Seppi. Uh, I should know this because my day, my birthday is the same day as it. 1970. Yes, well done. 1970 is correct. Yeah. Now it's wrong. Exactly, one year after that, so that's how I know so well about the Earth Earth Day. There you go. Alright. Alright, all numbers are good. Go ahead and roll and ready, Seppi. Okay, I am ready. Let's bring up the thing. There we go, now. You got a five? Now, how do you want to get rid of that? I'll just take a five to start. Fair enough. And all numbers are good. 11 will get rid of column number 2. Alright, how many points does the star of David have? Seppi again. Six points. Six is correct. Well done, Seppi. Alright. Okay. Go ahead and roll and ready. This is so good. I'm going to roll again here. And now. All right, see so what we have here? We have another five. All right. How do you want to get rid of that this time? One and four, please. All right. Um, Eleven will also get rid of column one. Four is now a bad number. All right, players, here's your next question. Who is Barbie's little sister? Seppi. Here, 
Skipper is correct. Man, Seppi, you're on a roll. All right, Seppi, four is a bad number. Do you want to roll it or pass it to Adam? That's a good number, zero. Let's roll it. Okay, Seppi, go ahead and roll and ready. Okay, now please. All right, you have... Are you fucking kidding me? I don't believe this. <laughs> look at, look at this. The only board member there, and you got it. Wow. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, Seppi. I know. Wow. You did all that work, and Adam stole it from you. So essentially, Adam, you're pretty much like Luigi. You won by doing absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, well, Adam, you do get five hundred hours. Seppi, don't worry. We will we will continue with round number two right now. And we don't have a hot column again. I don't know why I just did that. I don't know what to say. Uh huh. Okay, now let's do a little math here. All right, players. Here are the prizes we're going to add to each column. All right, for column number one, we're going to add a whole bar. And I sure as hell need a drink after this. This whole bar includes a car with cabinet, six stem racks, two chairs, and a martini table. And that home bar is worth $4,016, so column number one is now worth $8,042. All right, and for column number two, we're going to add a television. This TV is a 55-inch 4K QLED smart television with 3D surround sound. Plus, we're adding some LED backlighting. And that television is worth $800, so column number two is now worth $2,644. And for column number three, we're going to add a hoverboard from Halo Board. It's an all-terrain hoverboard with smart helmet for safety, courtesy of Halo Board. That price is worth $1,106, so column number three is now worth $3,805. A lot of good stuff up for grabs. I hope we see one person win a column. Alright, good luck players. Seppi, you have to win this round to remain the champion. This is true. Alright, in any case, here is your first question. In the UK, what is the day after Christmas known as? Seppi? Boxing Day. Yes, and no, we don't need any boxing gloves. All right, Seppi, go ahead and roll the dice. Well, let's hope that we get some good numbers this time. <laughs> roll it. I hope so, too. And, well, this will definitely help. It is a double of an eight, so you get an insurance marker. There you go. And I will do just the eight. All right, and I'm sure that insurance marker will help you out. All right, players, here's the next question. Which three zodiac signs are water signs? Time is up. The answer we were looking for were Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. That's right. No harm, no foul, players. Um, do you guys like ice cream? Well, Can you repeat that question? Well, uh, I, I just want to ask you that, ask you guys, do you like ice cream at all? Oh, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, which month of the year is National Ice Cream Month? Uh, Seppi? Yes, October. Not a bad guess, but it was actually July. July is the answer. 
Uh, all right, Adam, you Adam finally get to do something. You have control of the dice. All numbers are good. All right. Well, all right. See what we get here. A uh, three. Now, how do you want to get rid of that? Uh, let's get rid of the harder one. One and two. All right. We'll get rid of column three. Uh, an eleven will get rid of column one. And a two is just a mulligan, so technically all numbers are safe. After Steve Carell plays what memorable character in the popular TV series The Office? Time is up. Uh, do you happen to know the first name? It was Michael. It was Michael. The last name was Scott. Michael Scott was the answer. Okay, cool. All right, no worries, players. Here's the next question. The 1988 movie Mystic Pizza was the career of what pretty woman? That is Sethi. Yes, and Julia Roberts was in the 1990 movie Pretty Woman 2, and I'm glad you got caught up with that. All right, Seppi, go ahead and roll, because you're technically safe. I know, everything's still in good shape. Let's roll. All right. A seven. All right, how do you want to get rid of that? Hmm. Four and three. And Seppi, you won column number three. Well done. You only get that if you win the round, however. Now we have five, sure. six, sorry, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, and twelve is good numbers. So control is now very important. And here's the next question. Whitney Houston went to the top of the music charts in nineteen hundred and ninety-two with which Dolly Parton song? Happy. I will always love you. That is correct. Well done. And you're on a roll, Seppi. Yeah. All right, now do keep in mind you have an insurance right. marker, but you do have the option. Rolling or passing? I will pass to Adam. Passing it to Adam. All right. Let's put on anything else. There we go. All right, Adam, go ahead and roll and ready. A seven is good. All right, so adding your ring in the game, and your next question is as follows. Brianne Howie and Antonia Gentry star as a mother and daughter in what popular Netflix series? Time is up. The series was Ginny and Georgia. I would never have gotten that, honestly. All right, next question, players. Cillian Murphy plays a 1900s mob boss in Birmingham, England, in which streaming series? Time is up. The answer was Peaky Blinders. That was another tough one. Ah, it was very tough. All right, players. Next one is definitely easier. Let's see if we can get it. Anna, Elsa Kristoff, and Olaf are all characters in what animated movie? Seppi? Frozen. Frozen is right. Well done. All right, Seppi, five, six, nine, and 11 are good numbers. You want to roll it or pass it? Pass it back to Adam. All right, Adam, you know the deal. Okay. All right, we have a 10. That's not a good one. Seth, you tied it up. Wow. Amazing. All right, let's do a little math real quick. Seppi, you have won $42,143 cash and prizes so far, and you've tied it up. All right, this next round will decide it. Here is the next one now. 
And hallelujah, we do have a hat column. Column number three with a roll of 12. Okay, column number one is now going to be full because it's five praises. Um. Okay, players, here are the prizes we're going to add to each column. In column number one, we're going to add a bowling set. That's right, from Bart Brunswick, it's four bowling balls with two ball bags and two sets of shoes, courtesy of Brunswick. That prize is worth $1,048, so column number one is now complete and worth $9,090. Oh. Column number two, we're going to add a dishwasher. It's a 16th place setting dishwasher with a third rack. That is worth $2,400, so column number two is now worth $5,044. And we're going to add a new prize to column number three, which is a Pilates reformer. Yes, from Aero Pilates, it's a reformer with a rebounder and a fitness recovery device, courtesy of Aero Pilates. And that Aero Pilates is worth $1,249. All right, players, good luck to you. Whoever wins this round will win the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm, okay. There we go. Here's an, here's the first question for round three. What 1997 movie features Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones as under... <laughs> Seppi? Uh, Men in Black. All right, I will finish the question. What 1997 movie features Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones as undercover secret agents who police extraterrestrials? Men in Black is correct. Way to go. Thank you. All right, new round, Seppi, so all numbers are good. All right. All right. A four, oh, and I forgot to mention your insurance market does carry over, so you do have one still. Yes. I will just take off the floor to start. Alright, good choice. And all numbers are still good. Here's our next question. In what TV series did actor Tom Hanks co-star with Peter Scolari in the early 1980s? Seppi. Yes, and no, we're not talking about Nelson's bosoms. <laughs> yeah, Nelson's going to hate me for that, but I don't care. All right, Seppi, go ahead and roll. All right, I'm ready. Roll All right. A 10. Excellent roll. Okay. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the 9 and the 1. 9 and 1. All right. A 12 will get rid of column number 1. An 8 get, gets rid of column 2. And an 11 gets rid of column 3. And a 4 is the only bad number, by the way. All right, players, next question is, what actor plays Ken in the 2023 blockbuster movie, Barbie? Seppi. Yes, he's the one. All right, Seppi, four is the only bad number. You want to roll it or pass it? Well, remember, I still have the insurance but this time I know it. If I get a four, I won't lose. Uh, roll. All right. Yes, you do have an insurance marker, by the way. Go ahead and roll. We're ready. Alright. A double! Look at that! And look, it's a box cars! So 12. Nice! How do you want to get rid of that? I don't remember what is yours if you're in the round. Way to go! And that means you have two. Count them two insurance markers. Way to go! Wow. Alright. Listen carefully, players, to this next question. Here it is. What name is singer-actor Stephanie Germanata better known by? Seppi. She's the one. Way to go. All right, now, Seppi, you do have two insurance markers, but you do have the option of passing to Adam if you do desire. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and eleven are good numbers. Okay, well, good luck. 
Adam, you have to roll a good number to rain in a game. Good numbers, please roll. Seven is not a good number. Seppy, you win. And Seppy, nine thousand and ninety dollars worth of prizes is all yours. Way to go. You are welcome, and I will get back to you in just a minute. Adam, you didn't do too badly, but Sethi was just way, way fast on the buzzer. But despite that, $500 is all yours. Well done. And we will have you back for another episode. What do you say? All right, and we don't need those insurance markers anymore, uh, Sethi. Now, uh, Sethi. I normally don't do this, but if you decided to go on, that first roll would have had a uh, first insurance marker given away. Let's see what your second roll would have been. If I had done, what would have been the next one? Your next roll would have been an 11. That would have been good. But that would have been a column three. I did not figure that out. <laughs> yeah. Or I could have been up two and then you had to really yeah. All right. Well, anyway, Seppi, $51,233 is your three-day total so far. Well done. Thank you. And when we come back, we'll see if Seppi can win $25,000 and redeem himself in big numbers. Don't go anywhere. You don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Welcome back to High Rollers. Now, before we continue on, we Seamus has fucked up math for Seppi. He was short Seppi by five thousand dollars, and he forgot to add it to Seppi's score. So Seppi, instead of fifty-one thousand two thirty-three, you have fifty-six thousand two thirty-three. Well done. Sounds good. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. And I've talked to Seamus during the commercial. Now, um, do you think you'll redeem yourself in big numbers? Let's find out. I hope so. Let's do it indeed, and I know you know the rules by now. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, without further ado, let's get started. This is it. Ah! Oh! Ah, darn it. Oh. <laughs> Man, Seppi, you were so close. I thought we were going to do I this. Whoa. I know. Shit. We came closer, though, this part. You are getting close, but look at that. $8,000 is yours. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. And that means now $64,233. Way to go. Thank you very much, Nancy. You're welcome. And I thought I'd give you some confetti for fun. Uh, okay. Whee! <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Nancy Martin, reminding you to stay safe and stay hydrated. Bye, everybody. We will see you next week. All right. Good luck to you, Sethi. Go ahead and roll the dice when ready. Okay. Bring it up and let's do it now. All right. You have a four. Okay. Now, how do you want to get rid of the four? I'll just take off the four to start. All right. Four is gone, and all numbers are still good. Alright, let's roll again. Alright, hoping for a double here. And, well, you got a 10. Okay, let's get the low and the high. One and nine. One and nine. $3,000 is yours just like that. Four is a bad number, so please be careful. Okay. Yeah, I know. Just, uh, yeah, we all know what happened to the last one earlier this year. Uh, let's roll. Yeah, let's hope we don't see that again. We're close, but it's a three. You're good. Okay, you now you have four thousand dollars, and now you have two and four fan numbers, but you're still in good shape. Okay, All right, see so what we get. A seven. That's a good one. A couple ways you can do that. Okay. I'll take off the seven this time. All right, five thousand dollars. Now nine's a bad number. A twelve will just get you a mulligan. All right. 
right. A six is good. All right. All right. Let's see. You have two, five, seven, ten, and eight as good numbers. You're three numbers away from right. twenty-five thousand. Let's try to go again. again. Yeah, we'll have to see a double this time. I hope we see a double. Let's see. You got it! Ooh, I got a 10. That's a 10's a good number. Okay, now, Seppi, listen to me. You only have a 5 left and you have an insurance market, so you have at least two shots at winning 25000 I hope we see a 5. Me too. Let's go for it. Let's start our first chance now. Come on, let's see a five, let's see a five. Well, it's a double. But since it's a double, you don't lose your insurance market to Morgan. Go ahead and roll. That's right. All right, let's start at five again. Damn. All right, come on, five, come on, five. Oh, oh you were so close. Now I'm going to need that insurance market. Now you have one more shot at it. Regardless of what happens, you have $8,000. But if you can roll me that five now, Twenty-five thousand is yours. Oh, Good luck. Oh, 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 oh,